So how do you monitor the health of your property portfolio? Markets go up, markets come down. There's n number of things that are taking place. I'm going to give you three case studies for you to keep in mind. You're looking to build wealth in the Dubai market. There's a link below. Hit it, click it. Let's talk. Fill up the form. Remember to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. Show some love in the comment section. Check this out, guys. You have you seen one of those monitors, uh, you know, where you're monitoring a patient and there's an ECG and it's like, you know, you never want a flat line. You always want this kind of stuff because that's a healthy heart that's beating, pumping blood all throughout their body. Okay. Your property portfolio it's kind of like that. A lot of people come into the real estate environment and think, I'm just going to invest. I'll sleep and I'll just have money rolling in. That's fine. Sometimes it happens like that. But there isn't a lot of things that are passive. You still have to actually keep an eye on the property, keep an eye on where things are going. And I'm going to give you two such examples of if you keep an eye on your property and these are apartment examples, okay? then you'll know in the Dubai market how things are performing. And I'll give you one example, okay? So this is an example from 2014, 14, 13. So if you know, this is downtown. And at the edge of downtown is something called Old Town, okay? So we'll just call it Old Town, OT. Now downtown, Business Bay, Old Town never had a mosque, never had a masjid. So Imar... Uh, in their wisdom, decided to build a mosque right here, okay? So this was a mosque. Now, I'm a Muslim, so I love mosques. I pray, and I'm happy for a mosque to be built so that people who need to pray can go and pray. But you've got to remember one thing, that about five times, the call to prayer goes out, which a lot of people love, like Muslims and non-Muslims. They kind of get used to it in Dubai, and they start liking it. However, for some people who are new to Dubai, the call to prayer might not, they might not understand it. Like, why are you calling out to prayer five times a day, right? So for new investors, it might be an anomaly. They might think like, maybe we want to avoid being near to a mosque. They might feel that they or their tenants might get disturbed, right? For a lot of people, it's just business as usual. Now, what ends up happening is for one of our clients, he had an apartment right here, okay, right here. And it was like earshot and eye line, eyesight. When this mosque started getting built, if he had an advisor telling him that, look, this mosque is great if you're going to live here or if you're going to sell the property to a Muslim or Muslim tenants are going to live here, but there might be some people who might not want to live very close to a mosque for X, Y reasons. There's traffic issues some days and so on and so forth. It might be the best time to sell. If you're in this community here, the mosque is too far and you're not going to have any issues, right? I clearly remember that when we got engaged to try to sell this property, we found it a little bit difficult. In fact, I had a, and this has nothing to do with religion and it has nothing to do with nationality. It's just got to do with people not being used to it. Okay. It's kind of like, you know, uh, people from all over the world, they feel like, you know, you're going to Dubai. Oh my God, is it going to be like a Muslim country? It might be a little difficult for you to move around. And then they come over here and then everything's relaxed and they love the place. It's kind of similar. People were new to the Dubai market. I remember clearly a buyer walked in and she said, look, mosque is there. Maybe I'll have a trouble finding a tenant. Whereas on the other side, the flip side, I still remember we had a Malaysian uh, investor who wanted to buy it because him and his wife wanted to live there and they wanted to live walking distance to the mosque, which in Dubai, downtown was difficult because downtown has only two mosques, right? Uh, as opposed to rest of Dubai where it's peppered, a lot more peppered with mosques. So you've got to remember that these things make a difference and you've got to take a call much in advance. Similarly, if you're in here, a villa community, and then all of a sudden close next to your villa, a school is getting built. You're going to see traffic two times a day, morning and afternoon. It's going to be a little bit challenging you living there. So you're going to have to really love that place. So if you're managing your portfolio, keeping an eye, you might be thinking, okay, should I sell this property? Similarly, I'm going to give you a positive, positive thing that happened recently. Somebody, one of my investors, they bought an apartment in a very nice building. And right next door here is coming Bugatti, Bugatti Tower, like proximity right across the road. Such a property being built right next door is going to automatically raise the value of your property and you're going to start seeing capital appreciation come in. 
So the point of this video is to keep an eye, keep your finger on the pulse. You know how they say that's the pulse? Keep your finger on the pulse. Know where the property might be flat line, flatlining and know where to sell. If you can't do it, we can do it for you. We're advisors. Fill up the form, get in touch with us. Remember to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon and show some love in the comment section. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.